If you play the strongest battlegrounds in Roblox, you'll know that FPS can be a little, uh, you know, tentacle sometimes. It can be a little sketchy. So today, I'm going to be giving you the best FPS boost for TSB. You're going to get the best in-game settings. I'm going to show you some Windows stuff and things you can do actually on your PC itself. And I'll also give you the ultimate fast likes. Now, if I have, drop a like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So as promised, first of all, I'm going to start with some basic, basic Windows settings. You want to just go into your settings. Go over to the app, start up, and turn off anything here that you absolutely do not need. You probably have a ton of stuff that starts with your PC, it runs in the background, it uses up CPU. If you have it open, it's using up GPU, and it's lowering your performance. Turn as much of this off as possible. Going down to gaming, probably one of the most important things you can do. Game bar, turn that off. This is killing your FPS. It's always running in the background. Again, it's just another process you don't need. Game mode, turn this on. And if you go to graphics, optimizations for windowed games, you want to turn this one on. And if you go into advanced graphics settings here as well, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, also known as HAGS. This also needs to be on. Now, if you go into a Windows search again and type in edit power plan, go into choose power plan, show additional options. I recommend using high performance if you do not have the ultimate performance option. Now, to get this is very simple. I just go to this website called howtogeek.com. They have a whole page on how to enable this, but it's literally just this line of code right here. I know it looks sketchy, but you open up your power plan, run it as an administrator. You paste the code, press enter. And just like that, if we now close, you have to close this down and reload it. But if you go back power plan here, we now have the ultimate performance option. Option. And they are pretty much your Windows basics, but if you want to dial your Windows settings completely, I created the ultimate Windows optimization tool. It's a completely personalized optimization pack that does what videos cannot do. And not only do we have a Windows option, but we also have an NVIDIA optimization pack as well. Of course, the way you set up your GPU is very important. A lot of people go in their control panel, they'll drag this down to performance and call it a day. But actually configuring your 3D settings is what squeezes you the most performance. Now, I'm not saying you can't optimize your PC without it. Of course you can. But you know, Fluxstart really cuts out the fluff from those, you know, one size fits all YouTube videos. Even like this, the truth is from videos alone, not everyone's going to have the same experience. But regardless, I do think I'm pretty good at it. So now looking at bootstrappers, I use Blockstrap and I use version 2.9.1. And the reason for that is because the new Blockstrap removed the fast lag editor. Of course, you can use Fishstrap, but this is the one I recommend. Going in here, going to configure settings. If you're not using a bootstrapper, I suggest you get on one. This is going to give you, again, the best opportunity for the best performance if you know what to do in here. Now, most of this is actually just complete quality of life or, you know, maybe even placebo, subjective. You're not going to yield many performance benefits from most of these things. In fact, it's just enabling more stuff that you probably don't want running. But in your editing settings, this is where it gets spicy. Now, as promised, I'm going to give you the best fast lags. But first of all, we're going for our rendering graphics settings. Individually, anti-aliasing, I'd have this on one. For low end PC users, turn all of these on right here. So disable player shadows, disable post processing effects, and disable train textures. Frame rate limit, this actually doesn't work anymore, even if you set it to zero, which is meant to give you unlimited. But if you want to unlock your FPS, I have an entire video on my channel somewhere. Literally, I think I uploaded like a week ago. So you can just go and check that out. Preserve rendering quality of display scaling. Have this turned on for the most part, unless you're literally on a laptop office computer. Maybe you want to experiment turning this one off. And then rendering mode and texture quality. Rendering mode, you want to have an automatic. This is the best bet and the fast lags will kind of cover for this. And texture quality, have this set to level zero, the lowest. This is going to give you the best performance, but it may look a little garbage. So maybe you can budge up to level one. Now, fast lags in the fast lags editor, these are objectively the best flags. You literally cannot get more optimized flags than this right now. So you can either copy these values manually. If it helps, I'll open them up right here. Here you can see this is pretty much everything. Oh, and to import them, you literally just press add new right here. You can add the value separately. You can import the JSON file. I'll leave the download for this in my Discord server. Or to give you a third option, and I recommend you do this anyway, if you go to mods and open the mods folder, this is actually where the internal folder is stored. So when you edit your fast flags, it goes right into here. And this is the folder you'll be downloading and importing basically, or at least the values of it. But yeah, those values go into this notepad. And on this notepad, I suggest right clicking this, going to properties and ensuring that read only only is ticked. Now, this won't let you edit your fast lags after you've done this. So if you want to re-edit them, you have to go in and then tick this. But having it ticked and applying this when you've got, you know, your fast flags dialed, it's going to ensure that Roblox does not automatically edit them or try and remove some of your fast flags when they make new updates. And that's super important. And now assuming you've applied your fast flags, if you go into your Roblox settings, this is going to work for every game. Make sure your maximum refresh rate is maximized. So the maximum. Of course, if you've unlocked your FPS, it can be way above 240. But 240 is going to give you the most stable gameplay. Scrolling down, make sure full screen is turned on. This will give you the least input delay. Graphics mode set that from automatic to manual. Having it on the absolute lowest value will give you the most performance. But if you don't like the way it looks, you can move this up a bit, maybe to free or maybe five, but I wouldn't go anywhere above this. Usually I recommend literally the lowest or free. And Roblox doesn't really give you any options, but luckily in certain games, like
like TSB, you do have some things you can disable. So anything that has the remove option, turn that off. Anything that has the hide option, turn that off. Now, it may make aspects of the game a little less enjoyable, but the less your GPU basically has to render, the less that is on screen, the better. So also these pop-ups right here, close them. Reduce camera shake, that's a hundred million percent one. And the day and night cycle also have that disabled. You don't want the visuals on your game to have to keep changing. But generally, there's not much customization here. So just turn off what you can without making the game unplayable, basically. There's some things that will just differ per person. Oh, and there's a reason I told you to stick to the end because I completely forgot to mention this. It happens. But on your fast ways, there's a few things that you may actually want to remove. So I mentioned this in my Discord server to someone, but if your in-game lighting appears a little dark with these flags, you want to remove this value right here. It's a debug pause voxelizer. So looking at the actual fast flags where it says true you can either write false here and, or you know change it to false or you can literally remove the value entirely you can of course also do this in your bootstrappers fast log editor and the low textures if you think it's just too low textured of course that will give you better fps but you basically want to remove these top two right here so the texture quality override enabled and then also the texture quality override so you enable it and then this is what overrides it this value right here so either set this to zero and change this to false or just get rid of it completely that is the easier option